Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I decided to do a get to know me tag. Um, I put a little poll up on my Instagram whether I should do like a makeup tutorial or a get to know me tag. And the get to know me tag overruled that. So this is what I'm going to do for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. All right, well, here we go. So let's get started. So the first question is, what is your name? It's a pretty basic question, but some people may not know. My name is Alexis, um, but I prefer to go by Lexi. It's a little short nickname. It's cute, short, and simple like me. <laughs> uh, second question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is September 29th. Third question, how old are you? I am 23 years old. I just turned 23 this past September. Question number four. What is your... If you see me looking down, it's because I have all the questions written down here that some people have asked me. Um, so I'm just kind of going by that. And then I'm throwing my own little like mix into it, you know. So question number three is what is your sign? I am a Libra. So shout out to all my Libras. <clears throat> question number four. Where do you live? So I am from Massachusetts. I live in a small city outside of Boston. Lived here my whole life. Never lived in another state or anything. So yeah, little Boston girl or Massachusetts girl. <laughs> Question five: Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have two brothers. They're both older than me, so I'm the baby of the family. And no, that does not mean that I'm the spoiled one. I definitely got it way, way, way harder than they did. Question number six is how tall are you? If you know me, then you know that I'm very little. I am 4'11". So if you have ever seen me out, if you do ever see me out, don't be that person, please, to pick me up or to put their elbow on me like I'm their armrest. Don't do that. That is so annoying. I like my feet to be on the floor. I'm pretty sure you like to have your feet on the floor. Nobody likes to be like picked up like a doll. It's just not fun to me. Like, you know, I want to be tall, but I can't. God made me with short legs, so I have to deal with it, you know? Question number seven, do you have a job? Yes, I do have a job. I actually work two jobs. Uh, one, one job that I do is I'm a waitress, and a second one is I'm a freelance makeup artist. I do anyone's makeup um, for any event, whether it's going out, just for like a little occasion, for a birthday, I've done weddings, I've done quinces, literally any time that you need your makeup done, I'm the girl for you. I got you sis, or bro, because I've done guys makeup too, so let me know. Question number eight, are you single or are you taking? I am 100% single. Question number nine. What is your favorite color? My favorite color, I have two favorite colors. Um, my favorite color is pink and gold. I love gold, I love anything gold, jewelry gold, gold glitter, like I love everything gold. I like pink too. Pink. Pink. Question number 10. Do you like cats or dogs more? I definitely like dogs way more. I, if you know me, you know I do not like cats. I'm sorry if you're a cat lover. I just don't like cats. I've had a bad experience with cats. Um, there was a, my aunt had a cat. Um, his name was, we called him Fat Louie. And he was like a very mean cat. And I never, never, never used to like mess around with him. Um, but one day, this is gonna be a quick story time. One day, um, I was young, I was really little, and I was walking around my aunt's house, and the cat was like, sitting on the windowsill, window sill. and he just looked at me, like he gave me this look, like I kind of felt like something was going to happen, <laughs> but I don't know why I continued to like stand next to him, but I was looking out the window, and he like looked at me, and just lunged, like at my face, like literally lunged at my face, and he got me real good on the side of my face right here, I actually have a scar, you can barely see because I have all this highlight on, but um, he got me real good right here and he dug his nail in and I had to like pull it out. Ever since then I've had the scar. So from there on, me and Cass, we just have this like mutual 
agreement i guess you could say that we just don't like each other so like you stay in your lane and i'll stay in mine and we just go about our business you know <laughs> question number 11 what is your favorite animal my favorite animal is a baby elephant have you ever seen a baby elephant they are so cute like if i could own a baby elephant i would so have an elephant right now like they're the, just the most cutest little innocent little things like they just mind their business and they're just so adorable like i love them they're so cute uh question number 12 what is your favorite movie i like a lot of movies um i prefer scary movies um but right now my current favorite movie i actually just saw it like a couple like right when it kind of came out um is creed 2 I love that movie. It was so good. Like, I could watch that movie over and over again. It was really, really good. So I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. Uh, question number 13. Do you, play, do you play any sports or have you played any sports? Yes, I have. Um, when I was younger, I used to do gymnastics. I did it for a very long time. I used to compete. Um... It was a lot of training, honestly, with a lot of work. And then one day I ended up breaking my foot. And then from there on, I kind of stopped doing it because it was just too hard for me. And you're on your feet tumbling, so if you don't have a foot to tumble with, how are you going to do it, you know? So it just never was the same for me after that. So I kind of stopped doing it. Um, but I also found a love for boxing as well as I got older. I had a personal trainer, and he kind of got me into boxing. And ever since then, I've loved it. It's like an awesome stress reliever, and I recommend it, honestly, I really do. Even if it's like, you know, you're just doing it just to do it. Like, it's it's a really good workout, honestly, I like it a lot. Uh, question number 14, what is your favorite drink? So, if you know me, you know that I hate soda. Like, I hate soda. Ginger ale, Coke, Dr. Pepper, ugh, all that, I don't like it. I think it has something to do with like the the carbonation how it burns your throat some people really like that and i just don't understand why like it hurts my throat like i just don't like it it's just not for me like if i'm gonna drink something i want it to like go down smoothly you know so i prefer juice any type of juice like fruit punch lemonade apple juice you name it and if it's a juice i'll drink it <laughs> i also don't like coffee coffee is just not for me I can't have coffee. I can't have a lot of caffeine. I had a lot of medical problems growing up. Um, if you want me to do a story time on that, definitely thumbs this up because I actually have really good story time. Because if you didn't know, I almost died not once, but twice due to my medical problems. So it's kind of an interesting story to hear and a lot of people like to hear it when I tell it. So I figured maybe I should just make a video of it. Uh, question number 14. Do you have any piercings or tattoos? I do. I have seven piercings and I have four tattoos. So my four tattoos, I have one right here. It says Cherish. And then I have my foot, which is like a rosary um, with the cross on it. My mom actually drew it out. And then I had it like put on my foot. And I had the guy literally trace it completely the same. Um, I also have my thigh tattooed. I have my mom's and my bell's initials on it with um, two roses. Um, and then I have my ribs tattoo. It's a quote that I literally live by. It says, you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. Because of a lot of reasons um, that I've gone through in my life, where in situations where I felt like I couldn't get through them, and it's like you really, really never know how strong you are. Like until when you're at that moment, the only choice you have is to be strong and to get through it and to be there for your family and to be there and to make it through because everything's gonna get better in time, you know? Uh, question number 15, no, 14? I kind of, I think I just lost count on the numbers, honestly, but I'll just put them right here, so I'm just going to stop counting. Um, so next question is, do you have a dream vacation? Yes, I do actually. I have two places that I would love to travel to. The first place is Bora Bora. Bora Bora has been my dream vacation since I can like remember. Like I've wanted to go there for so long. It is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Um, as well as um, Maldives, Maldives. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll spell it over here. Um, those two places, I love tropical places. Like 
anything tropical, I want to go to. But those are the two top places that I would literally die if I ever got the chance to go there. Like, oh, I'll be the happiest person in the world. It is so beautiful. Next question. Where have you traveled to? I haven't traveled a lot. This year specifically, I've actually traveled the most. Um, I went to New York. It was really, really awesome there. I stayed in Queens. So if you're from Queens, shout out to you because I loved Queens. Queens was beautiful. Um, we actually went to Brooklyn out there. We went to Bronx. We went to Harlem. We went to everywhere, like literally everywhere. We went all around New York. So I kind of got like the full gist of it. New York is such a busy city, so there's so much to do, there's so much to see. I love it. I would definitely go back. And the second place I went to was Miami. I've actually been to Miami twice. The first time I went to Miami, I drove there. Just listen right now when I say this. Do not, I repeat, do not drive. It is the longest and the most dreadful car ride I've ever had in my life. I literally felt like it was never going to end. I could never do it ever again. Never. But the trip itself was awesome. And then I went again um, this year, 2018. I went for my 23rd birthday. It was the best time I've ever had. I had a blast down in Miami. We did so much stuff. I went with my friend. We did so much stuff. I'm actually gonna put in a couple like clips because it was just amazing. Like I had the best birthday ever in Miami and I would definitely, I really, really definitely wanna go back. It was awesome. And I met like the most awesomest people down there that I actually became really cool with, really close friends with. So now when I go down there, I actually have like friends out there now. So it was like really, really cool. It was definitely a good experience and definitely top number one for the best birthday for sure. Next question is, did you go to school for makeup? No, I actually did not go to school for makeup. Um, I actually am self-taught and I've been teaching myself since I was about, since I started kind of messing around with makeup when I was like 12 years old. I started to like slowly play with makeup. Like I used to have my little lip glosses, like in a little purse that I used to carry it around. Um, and I used to love, love, love my lip glosses. I used to put them on, I used to have all the little like, um, Skittles chapsticks like and I would put those on all the time and as I got older I got, I developed a, like a true love for makeup and I wanted to know more about it I wanted to try all these other different makeups and then when I discovered YouTube when I got around I both around the same age like 12 years old 13 years old I started seeing all these videos of these girls doing makeup on YouTube and I would watch them for hours on hours and hours and I started to copy what they did in the video and I would sit down Put the, put the camera up and I would just do what they did. I would buy all the products and I would literally mimic what they do and I would practice on myself. And I would do that every single day for the longest time until I felt like I was comfortable enough to start wearing makeup out. And I, when I did start wearing makeup out, people would always compliment my makeup and tell me where I got my makeup done. And I was like, oh, I did it myself. Like, And then I just, from there, it just my love for makeup just kept growing and growing and now I just have the highest obsession for makeup and I just want to learn more and more and more I want to play with more makeup I want to do makeup on other people I want to just make it like a dream you know of mine to like really get far with it because I'm lucky enough to be talented enough to do what I do and I want to show it to you guys and I love teaching people how to do makeup and I love doing makeup on people because you don't understand the feeling of like sitting down with a girl or a guy and putting on makeup and when they see themselves in the mirror they are so grateful and it just makes them feel so happy and so much more confident and I love seeing that in somebody. Making them happy and making them feel confident is what everybody should feel all the time with or without makeup. But makeup does help people feel better because it enhances their beauty. Doesn't mean that they're ugly without makeup. Makeup only enhances your beauty that you already have. Remember that. So that concludes my get to know me tag. So if you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Let this channel grow. I want to go with you guys. Support me. I'll support you. That's the way the world works. But if you don't want to support me, that's fine. That's cool. No hate over here. I'm not mad. It's okay. It's 
still love you maybe <laughs> but yeah so thank you for watching i will be back with more videos for sure let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys like to see because sometimes i have like a creative block where i just don't know what to film um but yeah it would be helpful for me so just let me know in the bottom and i will definitely see you in my next video